What is up, Dabba Gang? So today I'm in a salon. A salon. You heard me right. Thing boyfriends have to do. So about my girlfriend, she was getting her dreadlocks retouched, and I had to stay and keep her company right here. Right here. <laughs> So Tracy's out of the salon, her hair looks neat. <laughs> Look at her, she's touching herself. Why are you touching yourself? Because I love it. <laughs> She's so vain, guys. He's She's so handsome, isn't so he? <laughs> so, guys, today I want to show you how you can shoot for your social media using just your phone because there's so many establishments in Nairobi, like malls or at the airport, they don't allow you to shoot using your camera. But ironically, they don't. But ironically, they don't do anything about your phone so for this video i'll be shooting using the samsung a5 2017 and yeah let me show you guys using this beautiful girl here she's uh she's volunteered to be my model for this one so <laughs> just assume it's me who's behind the camera <laughs> forgot to mention that it does have a pro feature where you get to change the exposure uh, depending on what you want so you can change the ISO there you can change the exposure compensation and you can change the white balance as well to what you want so that, yeah, let's just use auto. But I prefer uh, just using the normal automatic mode because there's the option of changing the exposure right down here. I don't know if you can see it. There's this. Sorry, there's this light bulb over here, which you can reduce the exposure or increase the exposure with so 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 now i'm going to take a photo of our drinks and show you guys how we edit Among the photos I've taken, I like this one. <laughs> so much shade. I like that one, and uh, this one. So I'll be editing th those two, and I'll also throw in a selfie, one of these for you guys. So, yeah, so now I'm going to show you how to edit the photos. Uh, I usually use Visco because uh, it's just simple editing for Instagram, just putting on a simple filter, adjusting the settings and making your photo look bomb in just a couple of steps. So let's open up. Wow, I've looked at myself the entire time, haven't I? Oh, well. Let me just open Visco and uh, 
coming where the photos are and there you have the top three photos and i'll show you how i edit i'll start with uh, this one the one with the camera this is the camera i usually use for vlogging it's the one i'm using right now and i'll show you guys how to use this preset my favorites are a6 a5 c2 f2 f3 hp1 and s2 so for this photo i'm going to use a5 and i'm going to reduce the strength of this preset to around i think that's fine it's around five point maybe yeah let's do 5.7 and then i'll come here and uh, adjust the exposure take you maybe to 1.5 just to you don't want to blow it out and blow the highlights you just want to increase the exposure of your photo but still retain some detail in the highlights so i'll do that and i'll also increase the contrast rather to about 0.6 you also don't want to take it too far because it'll end up darkening your blacks too much and you won't be able to see the detail so i think that should be fine another thing you should do is that you should always sharpen the photos because some phones or some cameras tend to take softer images than others so here you just increase the sharpness up to no that's too much about there so yeah that's perfect i like reducing the temperature in my photos just to give it give it a cool look not too warm not too cold just somewhere around there i think that's perfect yeah you can just see the before and after by holding it before that's before it's taken by my phone and that's after that's it just like magic so we're going to move on to this selfie here and um, we'll edit it one thing about the selfies that, like most selfies, they just don't turn out as good as you expect them to be. As you can see, uh, our faces are, are kind of out of focus. So for this one, I'm going to use C2. I think C2 looks pretty good because if I use A5, then I think I just like C2 better. It's more airy. Always reduce the strength of your filter if you feel like it's too much. So I'll reduce it to around, yeah, I think, I think 5.8 is, is fine then i'll come to the contrast no first let's do the exposure let's increase the exposure a bit and as you can see this photo has a lot of uh highlights a lot of whites so you don't want to blow up so i think uh around 0 0.6 is okay then contrast increase it just a smidge then you'll come to the sharpening and since it's a bit out of focus you just increase the sharpness i think that's okay then you'll come to the temperature and um here it's a bit tricky because i like my photos on the cooler side but i think this photo will look better if it's a bit warm and also you don't want to do it to that extent or this other extent so i think just plus 0 0.5 is okay for this specific photo so next i'll do the maybe saturation increase the saturation just a smidge that's fine with me and uh play with the skin tones a bit because it's like this specific preset has given our skin a uh, sort of a cast, a color cast. So I'll reduce that uh, a bit. I think that's fine. And there you have it. That's just as much as I'll go with this. So you can see the before and after. Before and after. And I think this is cool. This is, this is okay. This is fine by my standards. <laughs> so yeah, so finally, let's do this image of me holding glass. I like the background. I really like how this uh, this tree is blossoming and it matches the drink and the pool. So for this one, I'll use uh, S2. I think so. And 
I I think the strength for this filter is just okay. So I'll leave it there. Uh, you, you said no, no, I'll leave it just as it is. Maybe I'll increase the exposure a bit. Uh, maybe up to 1.2, that's okay. Then increase the contrast, maybe up to there. You can see that the photo is kind of skewed a bit judging by this pole so we'll fix that using the straighten and we'll try to match this pole to the grid just about i think that's perfect you don't have to also go extreme and make it look perfect just that's 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 fine with me and then we'll come and sharpen just a bit just a little bit and then we'll come and saturate it just a bit and the temperature i think i'll make this a bit cooler just yeah there so there you can see before and after before and after transformation so that's as simple as it gets just using one app maybe next time i can show you guys how i edit using lightroom on a computer or yeah using different apps using my phone but yeah that's it from me so you can see the photos right there and uh, I think they look better than they did before don't you think so so there you have it that's how I did my photos simple done so guys as fate would have it my camera just died uh, and I don't have like a spare battery so there we there you have it that is how i shoot and edit using my phone when i'm in a place where i can choose a camera so yeah i hope the tips help you make better looking content so that's it for me for today remember to like comment and subscribe to my channel till the next one i'm gonna catch you later